Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really fun video. I love a good haul video. I talked about that in my beauty community video, I think. And I know some people really don't like hauls because a lot of people do PR hauls. But a uh, fun disclaimer for you, I paid for all of this myself. So if you want to support, just keep watching. It really helps me out. And yeah, I just thought it would be fun to get into hauls. I do quite a few hauls, but the thing with me is I get really impatient and then I scramble all my products up and then I never end up throwing it in a haul. And I've really been enjoying doing like revisited videos where I go back and talk about products that I bought to begin with. So I thought if I film the haul, that way I at least have a record of everything I talked about in the haul video so I can go back and watch it and talk about the stuff and whether I liked it or returned it or stuff like that. So I feel like I've already blabbered enough, so I'm going to stop talking. And a quick few announcements. I do have a giveaway going on on my channel right now. It does end the end of January, so if you want to go ahead and enter to win a Tarte Clay Play Palette, all the information is going to be in the description box for you guys. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. So without further blabbering, let's get into this haul. Okay guys, so let's talk about the things I bought. I did place an Ulta order because I did get a $10 off for my birthday. So I finally picked up this shade of the Milani highlighter. I have three of their shades. They have like eight shades or something now, but originally they had just four shades and I have one, three, and four and the number four and number, yeah, number four is one of my favorite highlighters of like all time and so I figured I should get number two and then I will have all four. So this is the shade Day Glow and oh my gosh, I just love these Milani highlighters. They're like 10 bucks. This packaging is so incredibly luxe and gorgeous. And I think that these are so, so underrated. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them on YouTube. But like, do you guys see how gorgeous this packaging is? And I bet if I swatch it, it's going to look so yummy and pretty. So there is the shade for you guys. I think this is going to be beautiful on many different skin tones. So if you're looking for an affordable highlighter, I would definitely recommend Milani to you guys because it's amazing. Another product I picked up, this is also from a brand I really, really love. This is the Flower Pots Powder Blush from the brand Flower Beauty. And I bought the shade Peach Primrose. I Is this the color I wanted? I'll have to double check because does this look in, like with my lights, it doesn't look as peachy as I thought it was going to look. But I have two of their blushes and I kind of wanted to get them all because they just launched on Ulta's website. And so I had that $10 off coupon and I was like, ooh, why not? But I didn't want, there's one shade that was a very bright pink shade. So I passed on that, but I've been really into like corally, hot, bright color blush shades. So I picked this up because it looked really good and I love this formula. Flower Beauty has some really good powder products, guys. So do not sleep on this brand. They're a little bit expensive. I think one of these is like 10 bucks, but they kind of remind me of the Clinique uh, Power Pots or Color Pots or some blush formula that Clinique has. It has like a similar flower situation. So I would recommend checking out the Flower Beauty ones and you can get those at Walmart too and now they sell it at Ulta as well. The other thing I wanted is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is a pretty new product from Smashbox and it was actually on sale for $25 on Ulta's website, which is one of the main reasons why I actually placed the order. I've heard a lot of people say some really good things about this product, so I was really, really curious. Sometimes Smashbox really surprises me with their priming products, like the Photo Finish water, that spray water that they have. I had a bottle and honestly that is one of the best like makeup setting sprays you can own and I slept on that for way too long. 
I wish I had bought more when Ulta did their 21 Days of Beauty, but I was like, oh, I have so many makeup sprays, I don't need any more, so I passed on it, but I wish I'd gotten it at that sale price. So I refuse to sleep on this because this is a pretty pricey product when it's not on sale, and I was like, now is the time, Karen. You better get it while you can. So I'm really glad I did that. And then I'm always looking for a good black liner, a liquid liner. So I decided to try this one by NYX. This was like seven bucks. So I figured, you know, I might as well try because I've tried a lot of liquid liners. I don't really like um, pot liners, like the eyeliners that are in like little pots because they dry up. I prefer like a felt tip. So let's see, this is pretty thin. I love the uh, Punker by Ardency Inn. That's one of my favorites. And Lottie London. Both are basically really hard to get because Lottie London is currently sold out. The Wing Woman liner and Ardency Inn is no longer sold on Sephora.com, which I thought was really freaking strange. So I thought, hey, I should try and find some other stuff that I can try. So the other thing I got was the Ofra Makeup Fixer Spray. This is really damaged. This is how it came in my package and it like exploded everywhere so I'm really sad. This was a recommendation based on Liv Loves Her Makeup. If you haven't checked out her channel here on YouTube, she's amazing and I don't really like the brand Ofra so the only reason I bought this was because of Liv and I'm really just kind of annoyed by how this showed up at my place. It's like squashed, like do you see that? So I don't know what the heck they did with it because that was my Ulta order. There was nothing heavy in there that would have caused it to do this. So yeah, I'm just kind of annoyed, but I think I might try and call Alta customer service. They really don't have the best customer service line if you've ever tried to call Alta.com. Next thing I did do is place an order on Sephora.com. I did get some birthday money for Sephora, so I was really excited. And I saw that they came out with some new products by Sephora Collection. So they have some other like versions of this blush palette and this is actually called a contour blush palette and they did some shades that I'm really freaking into like these are more fall shades if you ask me and this shade just reminded me so much of NARS Taj Mahal I just saw that that shade came back in stock on NARS's website so I actually contemplated buying NARS Taj Mahal but guess what? This palette cost as much as one NARS blush. So I was like, forget it. Let me try this. And I haven't swatched it. This was the first time I dipped into it. And that swatched really well. And there's also a transformer shade in here. So you can combine these with any of the matte shades and like turn it into different colors, which I thought was really cool. I was also watching ColourPop on an Instagram story. And they're talking about how there's a new trend called blush draping or something and it's basically when you put your blush shade in your eye crease kind of area and then you kind of drape it on your cheekbones as well and it kind of is like a form of contour so in a weird way I thought maybe Sephora collection had like caught on to the trend and low-key like released this product for that because I think some of these shades would look really beautiful in the crease as well or just like a wash of color on your lids so I think this is a really inexpensive product I would totally check it out if it's something you're into and I think this would be a beautiful palette on deeper skin tones as well so very exciting I love the packaging it's so cute I had to basically film this haul so I could start using this stuff another thing that they had just launched and I was really annoyed because this bottle basically like smushed as well is a hydrating mist so this is the rose hydrating mist by Sephora collection and this was like 750 so I was like oh let me try it out because it just sounded really interesting it says quenches your skin's thirst with this face mist and rich with rose extract of natural origin it's fresh and light texture penetrates rapidly to moisturize the skin and bring an instant glow effect so and it has like a cute little spray so I thought why not try it out it definitely has a very heavy rose scent so if we're not into that I would avoid that like the plague. I also picked up my birthday gift. This is the this is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner set. They also had like a Bite Beauty set and a Tarte set I think. I can't remember what it was but 
I ended up picking this one because I've been using the Verb Ghost Oil or Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner and this sounded like Bumble and Bumble's version of that so I thought hey let me try that out so we'll report back on what I thought of that. And then I got some samples. I got Walk on Air by Kate Spade, the Tatcha, the Deep Cleanse, and this Avlom Rescue Mask. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is an amazing brand. I've tried their face cleanse and it's so, so good. So if you guys ever get the chance to try anything from this brand, I would recommend, I was toying with the idea of picking some of it up during the VIB sale, but I believe their face wash is like $50 and I was like, mm, I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. So then I also picked up this Sephora Creme Lip Satin Set. I have the one that they came out with for the holidays and I really like it. And I love how small this is because you guys know I'm never going to get through any of my lip products. So this is 12 bucks, and you get to try four shades. It's more like mauve colors and there's like a strawberry kind of shade in here as well so I'm really excited because some of these shades are a little bit outside my comfort zone but I thought it would be fun for me to try out and see and I love that formula it's very comfortable so again another good product by Sephora brand you guys know a lot of people talk about those lipsticks so I would not hesitate to pick them up plus super affordable so next I picked up some eyeshadow palettes from the brand Beauty Bakery. This is a black owned, women owned brand. So I thought it would be really fun to support. I actually picked up the ice cream palette last year but I still haven't gotten around to reviewing it. And then around the holidays they did free shipping and I saw this graham cracker palette and I was like, are you serious right now? Like, I need to try this out because it's such a cool concept. So here is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's definitely a lot bigger than the other palette and it actually is about the same price as the other palette or the same price. I can't quite remember but I'm so excited to test this out. I really want to try more indie brands. I feel like in 2017 I already tried a ton of indie brands but with a lot of the new YouTube channels I'm finding I'm also learning about a lot of new brands and you guys I couldn't be more excited because there's some really good eyeshadow out there and that's something I would challenge you guys to do as well is to find more indie brands because the stuff that's sold at Sephora and Ulta is great but there's a lot of smaller brands doing really good shadows I'm also really excited because I just placed an order with Davina Cosmetics. So I'm getting some of their eyeshadows and we have Beauty Bakery. I have a bunch of other stuff I want to show you as well coming up. So definitely keep your eyes peeled on my haul videos because we're going to be trying some really cool makeup in 2018. Okay, so now I want to show you some drugstore products I picked up. I picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Fiber Mascara. This just looked like kind of fun, so I thought, hey, let me try it out, see what it's about. So I have that to try. And, of course, I picked up the Cheers to Beauty palette by Colored Brain. This is going to be my next route. This is going to be my next review palette. I'm going to test it out. I did do a swatch video with this guy, and I actually have worn it one time over Christmas, but since then, have not touched it, so I'm so excited to play with this and bring you guys a full review, so let me know if you're interested in that. And then I saw Young Wild and Polish talking about this on her Snapchat, and I was like, okay, let me get it. It was really not something I needed, but I was really curious to try out this blush. So this is by Sleek Cosmetics, and it's the Bring On The Night little set that you could have picked up during the holidays. You might still be able to find this at your Walgreens, but it comes with like their famous, famous highlighting palette and an eyeshadow palette and this blush palette. So for some really weird reason, I've been really into blushes lately. And this was half off, so I got it for 15 bucks, and I feel like that's a ton of makeup for 15 bucks. so don't regret it, and I will um, test this out and let you know my thoughts on it. The next thing I wanted to show you guys, this was random, I just picked this up from Target because I really want to try the Soap & Glory like Mist fragrances. I've tried a lot of their shower and body products but I've never tried all these like body mist and stuff and this was a really cute set and it was on sale so I picked it up and I'm gonna try it out. 
The next two items were also on sale at Target. I was looking for that contour set that Tati talked about in a video, but those were long gone. And basically I found this eyeshadow palette for $6.98 on clearance and this blush palette for $4.98. So I kind of want to do a video, like a get ready with me, featuring products under like $10 total because I can definitely get like an eye look and a face, like an entire face with these two palettes. And I thought it would be kind of cool. I don't know if you can still find these, but I just also wanted to see what the quality was like. So definitely let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a video like that. I think it will be really fun to film that. So very, very excited. Also something I've been holding on to for way too long. I'm going to test these out soon. These are the Milani Matte and Metallic palettes. These came out, I don't know, sometime in the fall last year. And I saw Makeup Struggles talk about them and I found them at my local Walmart and I bought them but I never tested them so I'm putting them in this video so you guys can hold me accountable on those palettes and then last but not least is a new product that just arrived I haven't even opened this yet but this is part of me trying more indie brands and I was eyeing this palette and this brand I wanted something from them I don't know if they're going like out of business or what it was but they were having different sales for a few different palettes and they had this palette but this freaking palette is expensive like I feel bad for anyone that paid full price for this so they said something about they had like extras in their warehouse or something like that and so I only ended up paying 35 bucks for this palette which I mean $35 is not a small amount by any means but I picked up the sauce box what is this mermaid life palette and I'm not a fan of the packaging or anything like that oh no one of them is broken is that why I got it for so cheap because it was gonna be broken <laughs> I don't know um, I also like these because I can see that you can remove the pans so I can put this in a less obnoxious packaging if I decide to do that but you get a ton of product not a ton of shades but that's okay I think I'm gonna have fun trying out this brand and it's kind of cool you know it's messy but it's cool yeah I don't know what do you guys think is this kind of kiddish I feel like it's a little bit more adult -y looking it's kind of a emo mermaid right there but yeah, very cool. So that is everything I picked up in the month of January. It's still early and you guys know I'm gonna get that Pat McGrath palette when it comes out. That's really my makeup wish list for January right now. Everything else I feel like I'm good to go. And yeah, I'm really excited. So let me know if you wanted to see any dedicated videos on any of the particular products I talked about today. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.